Hi, I'm Mary Robnett, the State CODIS Administrator for the Arkansas State Crime Lab. This video will train you to properly collect a sample using our Bode DNA collection system. First, fully and accurately complete the white DNA database information card. We will complete the fingerprint on the back in a later step. Always remember to wear gloves when handling the DNA collector. Remove the three barcodes from the enclosed pink card. Place one on the DNA database information card, one on the transport pouch, and one on the DNA collector. Complete the name and SID number on the DNA collector. If the SID number is not available, be sure to include the other identifying information, such as date of birth or social security number. Have the subject hold the DNA collector, placing his or her thumb on the area marked thumb. An officer may collect the sample for the individual in a similar manner. Gloves are unnecessary when an individual collects their own sample. Place the white filter paper side of the DNA collector against the subject's cheek, opposite from the name and SID number. Pop the cheek approximately seven times. Do not rub like a toothbrush. Turn the collector over and push the slide cover forward, covering the collection paper. If the slide does not cover the collection paper, the DNA sample was most likely collected in a wrong location. In this case, start the process over. Using the ink strip contained in the database kit, place a fingerprint of the right thumb on the DNA database information card, and the DNA collector were indicated by the words right thumb and print. Place only the DNA collector in the transport pouch and seal the pouch. Place the transport pouch and the DNA database information card in the envelope addressed to the Arkansas State Crime Laboratory, seal the envelope, and return. All other items can be disposed. Some tips while using the Bode DNA collection kits. First, ensure the individual does not turn the collector prior to putting his or her DNA on it. This will allow the entire sample of DNA to be on the back side of the collector instead of the filter paper, causing an inadequate sample at the lab. The DNA collector should be fingerprinted after DNA collection. Ensure the cheek pops during sampling so adequate amounts of DNA are collected. Names on both sides of the cards and the signature must match or the sample cannot be processed in the lab. Finally, check ACIC to see if the subject has been previously sampled for the DNA database. We only need one sample per individual, not per qualifying offense. The CODIS program has had many success stories since it began. As the database increases, so does the number of solved crimes. In Arkansas, approximately 60% of the hits are burglaries, 25% are rapes, 5% are homicides. The other 10% are miscellaneous cases. Hits have dramatically increased over the last decade. We hope this trend will continue in the coming years. The Arkansas State Crime Lab provides DNA database collection kits for all agencies collecting for the Arkansas CODIS database. To obtain these kits, please contact the CODIS section at 501-227-5747 or fax a request to 501 227-0713. My name is Mary Robnett and I thank you for assisting us in this process.